All right, guys, this is gonna be a quick unboxing of the new Apple Watch Sport Edition. I just received this this morning. I was actually pretty happy to get this. This is one of my more uh, excited unboxings. Of all the Apple devices and all the devices I pre-ordered, I ordered eight of these watches at 3.02 a.m. I ordered a bunch of different orders, and this is the only one that got here. The funny part about that is that this particular watch, um, probably about four or five of the watches I ordered had a April 24th through May 8th delivery date. This one was one of the sport ones that had a May 13 to 17 ship date, and it was actually the only one that got here on the 24th. So I was pretty surprised about that. I actually already cut the lining here because I was confused. I've seen several of the unboxings, although all of the unboxings I've seen were of the uh, Sapphire Edition, and it was not shaped like this. It was more rectangular and uh, square-like. So I actually cut it just to make sure, but it looks like <coughs> this is how the Apple Watch Sport boxes come. They are, you got the Apple Watch there, very rectangular, very uh, long. I'm going to go ahead and cut this open here and see what we get. This is even cooler to me because I've seen the unboxings, like I said, of the square ones, and this is different than that, so it's kind of like a, a unique experience, so to speak. Go ahead and pull that off and see what we get. All right. So with these, you get a rather long, thin uh, box here. You go ahead and pull the little green tab. Take off the outer plastic. It's a nice little hard case they give you. I guess this pops open. Apple Watch Sport, got some nice felt there. Apple's always taking great detail on their, uh, paid great attention to detail on their boxing, so I'm not surprised at the detail they went into on this box here. I mean, even look at that, look at that. They did a good job with that. What else is in the box? We've got designed by Apple in California, as if it would be designed by Apple anywhere else. The small sport edition comes with a power adapter very typical to the iPhone power adapter. It's identical, actually. Slide that off, and that is literally identical to the iPhone. Great. There's the uh, charging cable. You take this off here. This, as you can see, just kind of comes off like that. Again, great detail here, even in this little piece of plastic. Now, I don't know if you can tell this, but this is a particularly long cable that they give you. I read some reviews on that already. They do give you ample length here. I'm gonna pull this off. And we have our inductive charger. There it is. <coughs> yeah, so far so good. Let's go ahead and power on the actual watch here. This is the 42 millimeter edition. And they have this thing almost entirely covered in plastic. I'm kind of surprised. I'm gonna peel this back here. Now myself, I'm probably gonna end up sticking with the Sapphire display just because I love Sapphire. I've had a Sapphire watch for a long time. I wear a Sapphire watch right now. Um, it's great. I, I beat this watch entirely up, but not a scratch on the display. There it is. Sapphire back. Apple Watch 7000 series. I'll pull the plastic off of this. Man, the plastic feels very good. This this rubber or whatever material this is feels really pliable but strong. Let's go ahead and pop the the uh, band off. I'm just gonna press this button in and slide the watch band out. 
It fits in there very tight. I think, I don't know if you have to keep holding this, or there we go. So as you can see, this watch was assembled and designed in California. Assembled in China and designed by Apple in California. The speakers here on the side. I'm gonna pop the other side out briefly. I'm gonna pretend I know how to do that. And as we've read about and seen several reports on already, this is uh, d did ship with the diagnostic port. This actually does have as many ports as the new MacBook, so uh, we're good to go there. This is model A1554. I think it's tiny when you, uh, I already got a fingerprint on it, tiny when you take the uh, bands off there. So I'm going to slide the bands back in and turn this thing on. I've only been waiting for a long time for that. So you do have to slide it back and forth a little bit to get it to catch, it seems. But it does lock. I'll be curious to see what kind of challenges that presents for the aftermarket adapters, which honestly I'm amazed Apple hasn't already shut down. The click and adapt, those are the two, although adapt hasn't actually been funded at the time of this video. They just got another 30 days on there. Indiegogo. See this one I can't seem to get. There we go. I just got it to lock. Alright. Again, wiping off the display. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Pressing the button there yields a very low... I mean, if that looks low brightness, it's because it is. You can barely see it. Let's go ahead and pull out our iPhone. This is going to be challenging considering I'm recording on the iPhone. This watch does have a long boot up process. I'm not fasting forward any of this here. You can see exactly how long it takes. <clears throat> Man, that is a nice looking watch. Get to retire the old Fitbit today. Fitbit's been good to me, but it's time to move on to bigger and better things. Still booting. <clears throat> Definitely a long boot process here. There we go. I'm going to tap English. Open the Apple Watch app on your iPhone to, and tap start pairing. All right, I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna pull this back up here in a moment with a different recording device and we'll see if we can't demo the pairing process here. All right, so I'm using my iPad Air to record this so the audio quality or rather video quality is not likely to be the same, but let's see if we can pull up the Apple Watch app here and see what we can do. I'm gonna go ahead and open the Apple Watch app on my iPhone, good morning. If you have an Apple Watch, you can pair it here with your iPhone. Start pairing. So we get this very cool looking, man, I wish I could do, view this on the iPhone. The quality is just not the same on the iPad. It's not terrible. This very cool globe looking uh, pairing concept that I've already seen a little bit of, but... So what you do is you just line that up there. Apple Watch is paired. Set up your Apple Watch. Do you wear it on your left or right wrist? It's a very neat little uh, logo they give you there. It's basically everything you see on the back. I wear it on my left wrist. Of course, agree to Apple's terms and conditions. I agree. I'm assuming I'm going to be asked to sign into my Apple ID. The next page is asking me for an email address and password. I actually already pulled my Apple ID, so I just need my password. <coughs> yeah, that looks really good. Go ahead and skip whatever song this is.
All right, so. Back to this, you have two-step verification. Of course, I'm going to I'm, we're still in the process now of verifying Apple IDs here. Um, if you haven't already turned on two-step verification on your Apple ID, I would recommend it, especially if you are a popular um, movie star and could get your iCloud hacked. I'm just finishing verifying my Apple ID, and we are on to the next step of the process here. Focus on the Okay, location services. Basically, do you want to be able to actually use your watch or not? Yes I would. Yes I would like Siri. You know what? Send diagnostics, they're gonna need it in the beginning here. Apple Watch passcode, create a passcode. Create a four-digit passcode on your Apple Watch. Pretty cool. It's already asking me over here to make a four-digit passcode. I'm just gonna go ahead and type the first number. You can see how it pops in there and then goes to stars. I'm gonna do the next two and do you want to unlock Apple Watch with your iPhone? Yes, I do. What is this? If you choose this option, unlocking your iPhone will also unlock your Apple Watch as long as you're wearing it. Yes, I do. Install all available apps. Some apps in your iPhone may also work with your iWatch. Of course I want to install all available apps. I may need to fast forward this part of the video, but I will say how long it does take. I've read in several of the reviews that this can take quite some time. I'm just going to go ahead and let it go for right now. <coughs> so it's not taking terribly long already, you can see. I'm going to set this down. Take a look at this here. It is a beautiful thing of craftsmanship, though. Like I said, I do prefer the stainless steel. Actually, the one I really want is the one everybody wanted the space gray aluminum. Well, I would take the space gray stainless steel if it wasn't $1,100. Um, but the space gray aluminum is good. So far we've not moved past that point yet. I believe this is syncing over Bluetooth low energy. Just got to pop up on all my devices, my computer, my iPad that I'm recording on, as well as I got an email and everything else. Your Apple ID and number are now being used for iMessage on a new Apple Watch. Interesting, it na automatically names the watch with your first name and the first letter of your last name. Unlike your, or the first letter of your middle name, rather. It's interesting, I've always seen Apple do the first name, last name, not the first name, middle name, so that's new. Of course, we've lost the display here, so I'm going to wake it up. Trying to hit back on the uh, app here, but it's not having any of it. If you do try to hit back, it says, do you want to cancel or reset the pairing? I do not want to reset the pairing. Cancel. So it's taking its own sweet time here. I'm just going to set these down for a moment and let them finish.
while we're looking at that, I'm going to pull out what it is in the rest of this here. So when you pull this out, you get a nice long Apple Watch. All right. Getting started, guide. Welcome to your Apple Watch. Digital crown home button, we all know this. Let me demo the, uh, if I can. Here's some of the things you can do with your Apple Watch. The faces, the apps, the notifications, the glances, Apple Pay, friends. I actually have somebody I know that has one of these that's arriving today, so I'll get to test out the Taptic features with them. Force Touch. I've already actually experienced Force Touch. We have a couple of the new MacBook Pros that have it. It's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. It's uh, it's not quite the same on the watch when I've demoed it in the store as it is even on the new MacBook. The new MacBook gives it a, a cool sense of... Uh, so we're about 50% done there. It gives it a cool sense of clicking. It's weird. This is... Man, I'm really surprised Apple took this approach with this watch. It's very oblong shaped. And lastly... The other band, in case you have very small wrists. Now, I don't know if you can tell this. Let's see if I can get this. The iPhone could focus on it. Let's see if I can get the iPad to focus. Yes, yeah, small, medium. The other one was medium, large. So, they do give you this other band. The other watch that my friend is getting is blue. It's the 38 millimeter, and she actually wants the white band. Um, she accidentally ordered the wrong blue. So we're going to swap that. Uh, we don't actually have an Apple Store within an hour of here, so we're going to try to do it over the phone so we don't have to drive into the Apple Store. And that is all that is in here. Let me put all this back. Like I said, I'm probably not keeping this one, but I will use it for, um, for right now, obviously, because it's the only one that I have, in case you need to know how to buckle it. slide this back into here. Looks like we're about 75% done. Syncing the available apps. I'm going to see if I can put some of this back into the box and rebox this here. I'm always very particular with my Apple devices because I do resell them and I do like to keep them in as new quality as possible for resale value. Your Apple Watch is ready. The Apple Watch is all set up. You can control its settings in the Apple Watch app on your iPhone. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. She is ready to go. No notifications. Set up the activity app. Maybe not right now. Let me go back to the home screen here. Oh, of course, enter your passcode because I don't have the watch on. All right. Now, the one thing I, that did shock me about the uh, Apple Watch when I first tried it on was um, how small it is. It really is a lot smaller than you would think. I'm going to see if it's possible for me to switch back to the iPhone here if I need this anymore. The app layout, oh, you can adjust, really? Ha! Huh. That's pretty neat. So if you want to adjust how it's all laid out there on the phone, looks like it's just thrown some more apps on there. These must be accompanying apps for um, things I've already paid for, or already have on my iPhone like Pandora and Knock, and we're adding more as we go, look at that. So it looks like I'm actually, the Apple Watch has frozen up on me here. Let's see if I can get it to go. I read a lot of reports about it being very slow at launch, so that's not surprising. But it looks like we are able to just rearrange things, drag things around, that's pretty neat. You can put um, notification settings. I mean, anybody that has one of these can already play with it, but uh, 
Is there a software update already? Probably not. Yeah, it does ask for the passcode a lot. Notice that when you don't put your passcode in, you get a little lock icon there. Quite frequently, actually. Turns out your watch is, your software is up to date, Apple Watch 1.0. So I'm going to switch back to the iPhone for some recording and let's look through the, uh, the watch here. Alright, back to the watch. Let's go ahead and put it on. I'm going to go ahead and do this very carefully. I'm going to line up where I want the watch on my wrist. This is not going to work one-handed, of course. There we go. That feels like a nice setting too from the end. Just gonna pop that through. And of course I'll slide this. Ha! Undid. So this can be only a tiny bit tricky. You gotta keep that there and then slide that through like that. Alright. So, I'm going to put my lock code in, and there we are. Man, I love the video on the iPhone, it's so much better than the iPad. Alright, so we got 73% power remaining. Measuring my heart rate right here. Seems to be struggling with measuring my heart rate. I was curious to see how good the heart rate monitor would be. Almost saw a heart rate there for a minute. I think it's because I moved it. She's actually trying to get it fairly comfortable here. It was 100 beats a minute a minute ago. All right, it's a pretty good heart rate. The heart rate of non-existence. Let me try moving it around, be a little more snug. Music player is playing nothing. Mostly because there's nothing to play. Interestingly, when I started playing music, it started playing on the iPhone, which killed the video. Didn't see that coming. How are we going to get a heart rate today? I'm still waiting for this thing to work. Any day. Alright, we have a heart rate. 104. Apparently I'm pretty excited about this Apple Watch here. Did one swipe and we skipped two screens. That's kind of annoying. 72%. I'll set up the activity app later. Weather and stocks haven't loaded yet, neither has maps. All right. All right. We've got a few apps here that are loading. As you can see, that's what, just like the iPhone, Looks just like the iPhone on the loading screen there. Is there anything that is already loaded that I can use? Maybe Pandora? Maybe not. Looks like some of the apps have loaded already. Pandora has. Let's open Pandora. If this plays on my iPhone and kills the video again, I will not be pleased. Seems like with everything else, this is taking its own sweet time. Alright. I'm scared to death to click one of these because I'm pretty sure it's going to start playing the iPhone, not the iWatch. Haha, <laughs> forgive me, Apple Watch. Don't call it the iWatch. If you've seen College Humor, you'll appreciate that. If you haven't, you should. 
All right. So there we have it. Force touch gives me that that wrist vibration, the taptic feedback there. I customize my display. I would like the globe here. I customize it by force pressing. I think you actually have to. Of course, apparently the astronomy display you can't customize. Great. Let me pick one that you can customize. Jellyfish. So you get jellyfish flowers and butterflies. Do Friday the 24th. There you have it. Siri, of course, what can I help you with? Apparently I just am uh, absent of butterflies here. I must have uh, run them all out. This is a, a first edition device, so I'm not expecting it to be super fast or anything like that, although I am surprised at how slow it actually is. I know it's in the middle of loading apps, so I'm going to take it off because, of course, there it is. Enter your passcode to unlock. It's just an all over good looking device. I'm very impressed. Let me demo the charging here. So, honestly, if you've used Apple's uh, MagSafe, they have a very clicky snap to them. A lot of devices like that do. This does not. This is surprising to me. This, I don't know if you can see this here. It does, it does magnetize, but it moves around. It's, it's very, uh, it does hold the watch up. I mean, it's, it's strong. It's just not that strong. Seems like you get a different butterfly every time. I'm just going to plug this in here. A little charging icon there. So yeah, overall, I'm impressed. Very impressed. I'll be playing around with this a lot more, getting some apps installed, and uh, see what we can do with it. Thanks for watching my uh, unboxing and setup of the brand new Apple Watch.